Hi there and welcome to another free Google Ads tutorial with your host Barry Smith. Today's topic is how to boost your return on investment from Google Ads. The ROI of any paid media campaign is crucial for any business. Every business aims to maximise profits and minimise budget waste. I've certainly won many client accounts that have had negative ROIs before investing in my services. So for today there are a few things for us to go through. Essentially, it boils down to optimizing your campaigns, refining your targeting, and improving your creatives. Firstly, landing page optimization. Often an overlooked but big ROI winner is in your landing pages. It's all well and good having great click-through rates, but if your users aren't converting when they get to your landing pages, then really you're just wasting your budget. Let's say you're paying £2 per click. If you have a 1% conversion rate, that means 1 in 100 visitors convert and your CPA is £200. Now if you can optimise your landing pages and get that conversion rate up to 5%, then the CPA is already down to £40. And believe me, that's not uncommon with the work I've done following the guide I'm about to give you. As for the landing page itself, ideally I like to have control over them for my clients. Usually this means building PPC specific landing pages and no indexing them in Google SERPs. This way I can build them to a design that's been working for me and my clients. My winning formula is to have pages with few distractions, more than one call to action, relevant and concise content which includes your Google Ads keywords, good imagery, USPs, etc, etc. On top of that, page load speed and mobile responsiveness are crucial in today's age. At the time of recording this video, my website has a score of 90 on mobile and 100 on desktop using Google's PageSpeed Insights to give you an idea of how seriously I take it. Feel free to put my domain into their free tool to verify. Next tip is to organize your keywords into tightly themed ad groups. Too many accounts I've taken over don't do this. They just have all their keywords in a single ad group. Imagine having 20, 50 or even 100 different keywords in the same ad group. Trust me, I've seen it. By doing this, your ads aren't relevant to all the keywords in the ad group, and this results in low click-through rates, low quality scores that result in higher CPCs than you need to be paying, and the relevant traffic coming through to your landing pages. So make sure you have tightly themed ad groups, which may include single keyword ad groups. Not a problem at all with that. By having one keyword or a handful of keywords in one ad group, this allows you to make the ad so relevant to that keyword, meaning your potential customers are more likely to click through, your quality score is going to shoot up, and your conversion rate will almost certainly increase. Speaking of quality score, that plays a big role in improving your ROI too. The higher your score, the lower CPC you pay. I aim to have an absolute minimum score of 7, whilst there's no reason you can't get all of your keywords or most important keywords to a score of 10 out of 10. What does quality score compromise of? Ad relevance, click-through rate, and landing page experience. Ad relevance are already touched upon. It's a metric that measures how closely related your ad is to the keywords you're targeting and the search queries users are entering. It is an essential factor in determining your ad's performance as it directly impacts your ad's visibility, click-through rate, and overall cost-effectiveness. Tailor your ad copy to match the targeted keywords and clearly communicate the benefits and value proposition of your offering. Those tightly thinned ad groups that I just mentioned are crucial for this, allowing you to include your keywords in the headlines and descriptions. Don't underestimate the importance of your click-through rate either. The lower your percentage means your potential customers are clicking on your competitors' ads instead, or that your ads are appearing for irrelevant searches, in which case you need to check your search terms reports and add negative keywords. And your landing page experience, according to Google, is a measure of how relevant your page is to the search term a user typed into Google. So keep your messaging consistent from the ad to the landing page and make sure your pages follow through on an ad's offer. Make sure to spend time improving your page load speed, ease of navigation and making your website mobile friendly too. Next tip for improving your ROI is negative keywords. With exact and phrase match keywords becoming more and more broader, it's never been essential to keep on top of your search terms, reports and negative keywords. Negative keywords allow you to exclude specific words or phrases from triggering your ads. This helps prevent your ads from appearing for irrelevant searches, which makes your ad targeting more effective, reduces wasted ad spend, increases your click-through rate and increases the overall performance of your campaigns. This is easy to do for search and shopping campaigns, but you cannot see your search terms in Performance Max campaigns, which is why I recommend at least running a shopping campaign alongside PMAX. Because I can assure you, without negative keywords, your ads will be appearing for lots of irrelevant searches, wasting your budget and reducing your ROI in the process. 
Next tip is to keep a close eye on keyword level performance data. From impressions, clicks, click for rate, conversions, cost per conversion, that kind of thing, single out underperforming keywords and either adjust their bids, adjust the ad copy, check the search terms report, optimize the landing page, or ultimately pause them. But 100 plus clicks and zero conversions straight away doesn't always require pausing immediately. Ensure that you check your users' search journey. Does the ad copy match the user's intent? Does the landing page match the messaging in the ad? Does your page follow through on the ads' is offer? What is the checkout process like? One way to improve your ROI instantly is to get more traffic to the keywords that are giving you the best return. To do this, you need to increase your search impression share to 100% or at least close to it as you can get. This can be done based on your budget, your bid or your bid strategy. Ad scheduling, also known as day parting, allows you to control when your ads are displayed throughout the day and or week. This means that you can show your ads during the most effective times, potentially leading to better results and a higher return on investment. To determine which of those best times are, you may need to run your ads 24-7 to begin with and then look at the reports to work it out. When your goal is phone calls, then you only want your ads to be appearing during business hours. Ad scheduling can be set up at campaign level. Your business may convert best during 9 to 5, for example. In this case, you should be looking to increase your budget and or bids during peak hours. You can even use this feature to reduce your bids or even pause them entirely during times when you have poor CPAs. And the final tip in this video is to refine your audience targeting. The audiences tab allows you to reach specific groups of people based on their demographics, interests, behaviours or previous interactions with your website or app. This means you can serve ads to more relevant potential customers which can lead to higher engagement, conversions and return on investment. There are lots to choose from here. Demographics based on age brackets, gender, parental status and household income. Affinity audiences for those who have demonstrated a long-term interest in particular topics or interests. They are determined by users' browsing behaviour and can help you target people who Google believe are likely to be interested in your product or service. You've got in-market audiences to target users who are actively researching or planning to purchase products or services similar to yours. They are determined based on a user's recent browsing history, indicating that they are further along the buying funnel and potentially more likely to convert. There's custom intent audiences that you can create yourself based on combination of keywords, URLs and apps related to your products or services. These audiences help you target users who are actively researching or planning to purchase specific products or services that you offer. Remarketing audiences reach users who have previously interacted with your website or app, such as visiting your site or adding items to their shopping cart. These visits can be via Google Ads itself or what you've collected in Google Analytics, such as organic or social media traffic. Remarketing campaigns allow you to re-engage with these users and potentially convert them into customers second time around. And customer match lists allow you to upload an email list of your customers to Google Ads and target these users across Google Search, YouTube and Gmail. This allows you to serve personalised ads to existing customers or exclude them from your campaigns if you're looking to acquire new customers only. Keep testing and refining these audiences to improve your ROI. And that's it for today's video. I really hope these tips can help increase your ROI of your Google Ads campaigns. Thank you for watching and please like, comment and or subscribe to my channel.